going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. So check it out. Um, to make sure I'm live here. I think I am. Wait for everybody to jump in. I know there's always an ad at the beginning, so we'll kind of wait for a few seconds here. But anyway, here's the uh, reference photo that I'm using for today. It's pretty cool. I thought it was cool. You know, it's a chance to use a little bit of the white pen. Um, see what we can do with it. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Yes, yeah, so like I said, this is the reference photo I'm using. So, um, Matthias, what's going on? Joyce, Amanda, Enrique, Cubs win. Harry's idea side, Jeremy, Brickitect, Enrique, again, once again. How's everybody doing? G Giordi, Tila, what's happening? Cool, cool. We've got some people here, looks like. Before I start, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Greatly appreciate it. So once again, I'll show it just for anybody just came in. This is the reference photo I'm using today. Should be a good one. So I'm gonna jump right into it for the most part. Looking forward to seeing those highlights up front later on. Yeah, you mean like on his face, right on his face. Mostly the snow in the face, a little bit of the nose has some snow and stuff. So we'll see if I can pull this off. Um, it's at a, it's kind of at a difficult perspective. Once again, I tend to usually mix things too long instead of being turned at an angle. So right now, I'll sh show you guys what the buffalo is with this eraser. So this is the buffalo, like let's say, profile, right? Like from a side view but he's positioned like this but I tend to draw things at least from the last few live streams I tend to draw things a little too turned so I need to keep that foreshortening like it's coming towards us so that's what I'm gonna try to do hope that makes sense like so this is if you're looking at it from the side he's more angled towards us so that's what I'm uh, gonna try to capture here And uh, just roughly start blocking this in, like I always do. Henry, what's happening? Uh, Wolfie? Cool, thanks everybody for liking it. I appreciate it. So I need to figure out where the top and bottom is. It's kind of important, actually. <laughs> uh, interesting, interesting, that's all I'll say, that's all I will say, is interesting. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's doing, how's everybody doing? On this Monday, if you're in the U.S., we got Thanksgiving happening this week, I, I believe. I think. I don't really, really. So that's exciting. Hopefully. So I, I've only scheduled three live streams this week. I was thinking of doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, just want to let you guys know that because my uh, day job has gotten a little more uh, busier. I also have some other projects going on. 
So I kind of have a lot going on right now, and I don't want to get overwhelmed from these live streams. So at least for this week, maybe next week, we'll only do uh, three days a week, unfortunately. I hate to do that, but you know I don't want to get burnt out on these things from all the other projects that I have going on. I kind of don't like its placement on this page, so I'm going to start over. I know it kind of sucks to say that. I had a really good shape going, I felt, but I need to block it in first better. Basically determine the top and the bottom. So I know I want the top to be right around here, maybe the bottom around there. Fits a little bit better on the page. You know, since I do kind of these minimal sketches with just the animal, I kind of like to have it placed on the overall page pretty well, so. I apologize for starting over, but it's necessary. I'm just going to double check which one is greater, whether it's the height or the width. And I thought it might be the height. Yeah, the height, it's a little taller. So I know that when I do the actual width, it's only about this. The width is about this. Big. Let's double check that again. Guesstimate. Something like that. Looks pretty crazy, looks pretty squished, but that's kind of how it is. So I'm going to try to stick to these parameters for the most part. We'll see how this turns out. Yeah, I thought this bison was pretty cool. Um, happening everybody thanks for tuning in we got Nathan here what's going on Isabel what's happening okay I'm just trying to um, trying to figure out kind of where a center line is and what is close to that center line so I'm trying to use that as kind of a guide this is about a center line here Uh, same thing here, the eye is above center line, the nose is below. So I'm getting a better feel for placement of things, shoulder. Maybe the nose is up a bit higher, actually. Okay, so it's center line, actually. Right here, so this is where it starts getting darker. It starts getting darker right here. On the legs, the head comes out to about there, probably go up. So I'm guesstimating most of this and then I'm kind of checking, double checking myself with some, a little bit of measuring. So the nose is actually closer to where I first thought, somewhere down here. Looks a little bizarre right now, but that's okay.
I know it's pretty light at the moment, but what was the artwork, artwork that you did that takes up the most time? Um, probably some of the, some of the Barg studies that I did. I've shown those before. Um, those took me quite a few hours for some of those. I only did like two or three, two of them, I think. Just the way the process of them takes a while. Um, are all of your animals random or do you have a reason on why you draw them? I just like animals, so I think nature's cool. And uh, I'm just, I've become recently, I've become drawn, I've become drawn to drawing animals. Uh, just something I'm interested in, so that's what I do. So it seems I'm already, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay, so this, the legs come down kind of at this angle. I thought it was off a bit, but maybe not. Just got to get these angles a little more correct. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I just, I like nature, I like animals, I think they're cool, so that's what I do. Um, you know, I don't know a whole bunch of anatomy or anything yet, I haven't really gotten that deep into studying animals and stuff. Um, you know, I just kind of just fill up a sketchbook here, have some fun, basically. Maybe one day I'll get interested in that and bring my drawings to a whole nother level or study some kind of animal for a while. But until then, I just kind of, I just think like, oh, what animal would be cool to sketch? And I try to find a good photo. Um, that's kind of all the pro thought process I put into it. You know, I just go, okay, what animal would be cool? Is there any good photos of them? And uh, here I am. Oh, you didn't miss anything, Matthias. I just kind of started over. And uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty small on the page now, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I could always crop this 9x12 down to a 8x10, so it's pretty cool. So, I want to get into the pen and ink here soon. We're about 13 minutes in, it seems. So, making decent time, I guess. Something's off here, though. Something's off. I'm trying to figure out what is off here. Um, so, it looks like this is the center line, which I think it pretty much is. Then... needs to come up more because this line ends up lining up with the belly it's a little bit lower than the belly over here okay I think we're, we're doing all right just looks weird because I haven't really solidified it yet Drawing this a little bit smaller than what's on my screen, so it's hard to translate the proportions sometimes. I still always struggle with proportions. It's one of the, it's always one of the most challenging things about drawing is the proportions. But you know, if I I could sit here and measure this whole thing out and do everything, but what's the fun in that? You know, I just want to we'll just guesstimate some things and. See, where's that leg? Um, right about here. And this leg. Right about here. Here. 
What's going on, Lane? It's going all right, uh, I guess. Yeah, foreshortening's difficult. Um, drawing it smaller is difficult. You know, just struggling with proportions as always. It's always the main issue. But I know I got the height to width. Yeah, that foreshortening is just so difficult. That's one of the, but that's why I've been trying to do it more lately. And I've been picking subjects that have it, even though I didn't even kind of realize it. Which is good though, because it gives me a little bit of practice here. And I think just like that bear I did last week, that grizzly bear, I think this one's going to come out the same as far as proportions. You know, some of it may look off, but I hope hopefully by the end of it, when we have the pin in there, everything. And you know, this lines up the belly, so that seems to be a little bit better than it was. I think we just don't have the value down and the pin, the ink in there, you know, it's not solidified yet, so it's going to look a little weird. At the moment, but I think we're doing, I think it's going pretty well. Yeah, like I was saying, the grizzly bear, the other day I had the proportions way off, more off than this one, and it turned out pretty good. I mean, I look at it and it's pretty good drawing actually. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that grizzly bear I drew so I'm sure this one will be okay. Just gotta just want to solidify a few more things before I jump into the pin. Looks like his other eye is right over here. You can't really see it. Did you study in the universe? Did I study in art school? Um, no, I did not. I just went to a local college for graphic design. It looks like we're buffering for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, somebody said front legs a bit longer and more splayed. Possibly. I don't know if they're longer, because I got the height to width pretty close. And they look they look pretty good to me. The bottom of the little furry parts comes to here. I think that's about right. Splayed maybe. I haven't got to that yet. I've kind of just put their location in. But they're all covered by just furry bits here anyway, so. Someone said, Claudio says, thanks, thanks for making the world better with your art. Thanks, I appreciate that. I hope I am. Um, do I have any tips for beginners? I mean, I have a lot of tips for beginners. I mean, what kind of tips do you gotta be more specific, like what a problem is that you're having? I could just say, yeah, you should draw more, practice more. There's a tip for a beginner. <laughs> you know, like, that's not going to be useful to you. I want to I give you something that's useful. Yeah, just keep drawing more. There you go. That's a beginner tip. Context. I need context. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, I literally, actually, I literally just made a video on uh, five tips to instantly improve your drawings. So go check that video out. I literally just made that, put it out two days ago. Just go to my channel and check it out. Got a whole video series on all kinds of stuff. Try to do, here's my beginner tip. Try to do a little research before you ask somebody something. Like try to, <laughs> that's what I would do. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I'm here. You can ask me. It's fine. Like just ask me a question. But... 
you know, try to help yourself first a little bit before asking someone, you know? Got to be willing to put the work in and do stuff on your own. I feel like this eye is in the wrong spot, but yeah, I feel like there's something off here. I think the nose needs to come out a little bit more. It's hard to tell. It's hard to see it. I keep going over lines. Uh... Well, I, I normally don't have a problem with the buffering. And on my end, it says I have a good uh, connection. I'm connected through Ethernet. I have zero dropped frames, so I don't know why YouTube is buffering. Maybe it's just time of day. Could be everybody's at home. But, you know, the last few months, I haven't had any problems with speed or connection or anything. It's just like this last week and now getting these problems. But on my end, everything's perfect. So I'm not really sure what's... Uh, what the deal is there. Looks like this little part here is too low. Hmm. Were you born with drawing talent or did you get your talent in college or any school? Um, you know, I learned things in school and stuff overall over the years. I learned stuff from many places online and books. Uh, I kind of have a whole mixture of places I've learned things from. I'm kind of struggling here with this nose. Um, this, is, this is at a very interest, interesting, challenging angle here, everything. But uh, I didn't go to art school. I went to school for graphic design. We did have some art classes, very little. We had one drawing class, kind of like an intro. We had a photography class. We had a graphic, you know, color and composition class. But everything else was kind of geared toward design, graphic design. It was always very design heavy, because that's what our major was. Um, I don't know that I was born with any talent, really. Um, I really think anybody can learn how to do this. It's just, you know, maybe there's some sort of something you might have to have, you know, a little bit of, or at least learn to develop, you know, like a, nu a nuance for pressure, sensitivity. Um, you know, you gotta have some, you gotta be, sensitive, I think. And what I mean by that is like, you don't have to be like emotionally sensitive. I just mean you have to really be aware of everything, you know, the amount of pressure you're putting on the pencil, you know, all this stuff comes with time. And I think over time, if you apply yourself and really pay attention to things, then it's possible. There's just people that, there's people that want to do that. And then there's everybody else who has no desire to learn any of this stuff, which is fine. It's not a big deal. But to me, all that stuff kind of came naturally when I was younger. You know, I've been drawn since I was young, so I've kind of had many years to kind of develop the sensitivity to everything and how to use materials and how to do certain things. Um, you know, it just takes time and practice, I think. And of course, there's ways you can improve, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to take forever. I'm not saying it has to take forever, but it is going to take time. I mean, it's just like anything else. Definitely just like anything else. All right, I think I'm feeling good about this now that I got more separation of things. Um, probably can start the pin here pretty soon. And these legs are a little bit funny, but I still need to get some of the structure down. I 
And there's some snow in front of them. think the ear is too high. Well, I don't have an ear. It's actually a horn. It probably is a little too high. Now. I thought that earlier, but I kind of just left it. But I'll put it back in. Let's see. We'll make it a little bit lower. Thanks for pointing that out. That's why I need you guys here. Readily available to point out all my faults and all my mistakes. Love to hear it. <laughs> I mean, I think there's a lot of things wrong with this one, but you know, it's okay. We just make make the best out of it, just like everything else. Nothing's going to be perfect. Nothing, especially if I'm doing this in like an hour. You know, like it's not going to be. I never expect any of these to be perfect. You know. Oh, these legs suck. I, I just. I don't, I don't get what's going on here. They look skinny. How can they look that skinny? I don't understand. Um, it's like, it's like an illusion. It's an illusion going on. skinny but they're not skinny so how are they taking up that much room if they look skinny it's very annoying but like I said that's okay we just roll with it maybe they're too short maybe that's part of it they probably are uh, let's see. the hooves are up here Man, these things are just weirdly shaped. That looks way off. All right, let's break it down simply. So got flares out there, comes down, flares. A little bit. Lengthen those a little bit. Normally, I would just put grass in front of the legs and not really care, but. The shoulders are slightly too far to the right, so you think they need to come over here? Probably. going on Lumen? You're from Indonesia? That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, up a <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I think we're getting there. I think this looks pretty good. Um This 
looks pretty good. I'm happy with this, so. Oh, skinny legs are what I mean about being odd looking. They have huge bodies and stick legs to hold all that weight. Yeah, exactly. They have these little tiny legs. Although if you got trampled with these legs, they wouldn't really feel skinny and small. <laughs> It also looks weird because I made the lines very dark compared to the rest of the body because I just drew over them a lot. So they just, everything really stands out. So anyway, I think, I think it looks pretty good. At this point, I think we're good. We just, we'll, we'll you guys know I always kind of tweak it when I draw it with pen. So, um, it's only a few minutes and it, and he's made tons of progress. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm trying, I'm trying. So let's go in with the pen, pen and ink now. I think uh, I feel pretty good about this one. There's a bit of darkness that comes in right through here up to this line. Um, was wondering why your drawings tend to be in pen and ink versus graphite pencil. That's a great question, Mitchell. Um, I've just been, this year, I've just been exploring with pen and ink a little bit more, and I really like, I like the permanence of it in my sketchbook. Um, graphite in the sketchbook and stuff, I mean, it's it's better than charcoal, because it doesn't smear as much, but I just like, um, I just like the 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 contrast of pen and ink. Um, I mean, I do like graphite still. I just haven't haven't been interested that much in it this year, uh, as far as drawing with it. Um, I don't know. Pen and ink is just something I'm exploring more, like the permanence of it, not being able to, you know, having to live with the mistakes that you make in it. It's just making me more disciplined, more careful. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of things about it, really. But it's just something I want to been playing around with this year. And I really enjoy it. I didn't realize that I enjoyed it so much until I started using it and trying it out. So that's kind of why. They have four legs, so the weight is distributed. Well, yeah, that's true. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, unlike bipedal animals, bipedal locomotion is complicated. Yes, it is. It definitely is. All right, cool. Um, let's get with the let's get with the ink already, right? Been doing this too, been drawing it too long. We'll just go straight into it. So it's got kind of a fluffy head. I'm gonna see if I can. I can't even see. It's so soft. I can't even see a transition there. Hey Lisa, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in, glad to see you here. Hope everything's going well. We're just doing a little sketch today, like always. Just doing my best here. a new pin? I can't tell. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, maybe it is. It doesn't feel like it. I got too many pins laying around. I thought, thought I grabbed the new one. Let's see. That one definitely is not. Yeah, I think I did get the new one. Try one more. 
Yeah, okay. Got the best one. Just gotta get used to it, I guess. Um, <clears throat> all is well over here, as well as it can be, I guess. Everything's going well. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. How's it going? Sarava Maran, Miranda, Ara Ara, Fuzzy. <laughs> you guys got some interesting names. It's cool. It's cool to see that. And people from all over the world, too. It's crazy. Had somebody from Indonesia earlier. You got people from everywhere. Sorry, folks. Try to keep the, try to keep it in the center of the frame here, as best I can. I have a lot of jobs at once. I got to draw. Got to interact with you guys, answer some questions and stuff, or say hello. Got to keep the camera in the right spot. <laughs> There's always a lot going on. So I hope you guys be patient. Let's see, 37 minutes in, wow. I can't believe it took that long to get through the pencil sketch. That's, usually it takes about 12 to 15 minutes for the pencil sketch. This one took a little bit longer, but hopefully it will be worth it. How old am I? I am, uh, I'm 19. That's all. <laughs> I'm 19 and a half. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm 30. I'm 30. I'm not 19. I look 21. I almost said I was 22. I almost said I was 22. Yeah, I was about to say I'm, I was about to say I'm feeling 22 like Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's sad that I know that song, unfortunately. But it's funny to use when people ask me that. Yo, 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 quit, what is going, there we go, thank you. Ah, we had a kid pass his bedtime here, I uh, decided to spam the chat there. So if I missed a question or something, just post it again, folks. I apologize. Uh, Wolfie asks, what is your favorite animal? Oh boy, favorite animal. Um, I really like, I mean, I've never seen one in real life, I don't believe. Not even like at the zoo. One of my favorite animals, just for the cuteness level, and like, I would really like to see one, is a red panda. The red pandas look so cool. Um, but yeah, I've never, never seen one, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. They seem like they'd be really cool to play around with and like just watch and, and see. Um, I like bison and I like buffaloes, like the one I'm drawing. I think they're really cool. Uh, I, you know, I like a lot of animals. Foxes are cool. I see coyotes all the time around where I live, right in my neighborhood. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I'm in like this business district with all these businesses and paved roads and stuff. and. It, 
apartment complex and there's coyotes running around at night and stuff. I've seen skunks before, those are pretty cool to see crossing the street at night and stuff. But yeah, I just, I don't know, man, I like a lot of animals. I think all, mostly all animals are pretty cool. It's hard to like say like what my favorite is, you know. Google red panda, it's awesome. It's like a raccoon mixed with like a, like a fox, mixed with a panda, mixed with a cat. Like they're really cool. Yeah, I'm almost at half a million subs. I'm about 500 subs away from half a million. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy to think that. Hopefully I can get to a million quicker than I got to half a million. It's my, it's my hope anyway. I should add a live sub count. Yeah, I, I don't get subs fast enough to have it be a counter. I thought about doing that actually, but yeah, I haven't done it yet, so. I could try to put one up, but it's kind of a hassle. Are red pandas edible though? Well, isn't everything edible? Silver Chariot, if you want to get technical. <laughs> it's not about being edible, right? It's about... <laughs> Red Panda is a disguised chimera. Change my mind. <laughs> Do you always use Micron pen for your inking? Uh, most of the time, yeah. I've also used these uh, Prismacolor ones before. But um, both are good. Either one are good. This this one, uh, I don't know. It was brand new, but I've used it on a few drawings now, and it's kind of running down here. What type of D pen do you use for inking? <laughs> right here. Pigma Micron 05, five millimeter, I believe. I've also used three millimeter in the past. You can use eight millimeter, whatever. Doesn't matter. What is your favorite YouTuber? Um, that's tough. I don't really know, to be honest. I like this one travel vlogger. That's pretty cool. His name is a uh, Indigo Traveler. He has some really cool, interesting videos. He goes to like all these really interesting places in the world. And uh, he's kind of like a journalist almost. He's becoming a journalist, really. <laughs> like the stories and stuff that he captures and stuff. I mean, it's way better than anything you'll see on being covered on TV and stuff. Like, man, it's, it's really incredible. So Indigo Traveler, he's probably one of my favorites. I'm sure most folks haven't heard of him, so there you go. I don't really watch much art stuff on YouTube, really. Um, from time to time, I will. But not a whole lot, actually. I, I'm more interested in travel and just other things, you know. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Gotta remember to keep moving that. I keep jumping around the drawing and I forget that I'm... I got it real zoomed in. Thanks for being patient, folks. What do you use for the highlights? I'm gonna use... Um, currently, I've been using these uh, Uniball Signo. This uh, particular one, UM153. 
So that's kind of what I use. These are really bright. Um, I've also used these Jelly Roll 08s. They're not as bright though. But they are white. They are a white pin. They're just not as bright. But I'm gonna get. I'll get into the white pin eventually here. Um, seems like we're gonna have a little bit of a long stream today. Not too long, hopefully. Maybe like an hour and 15 minutes or something. Because I'm gonna have to sh shade all this and then do the white pin. Uh, I was hoping to be done with this in like an hour, but I don't know that I'm gonna finish this in 15 minutes. Yeah, all the links for my stuff is in the chat now, so. Um, thanks, Enrique. Yeah, we got 100 watching. Pretty cool. Pretty exciting. It's always exciting when I hit 100 people. Because I'm, I'm only used to, normally it's like 30 people that watch, mostly, all the time. I don't know if it's the same 30 people, but usually only around 30 watching for most of the time. I'm sure people come and go, so there's... Maybe there's more than 30, but usually the first, the first 20 minutes, half an hour is always 30 people and then I get a bunch more. Let's zoom in here. Not exactly sure where they show up from, but I appreciate it. <clears throat> Can you say, hi, Kaylee, and I love your art? No, I can't. <laughs> I just said it. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Um, really appreciate it. I don't know if you're telling me that you love my art or if I, you want me to say I love your art. I'm, I'm kind of a little confused there. <laughs> Oh no, I haven't done the nose yet. This problematic place. Ugh. It's so annoying. I'm gonna try to not outline it. I'm gonna try to use the shading around it to kind of. There's actually a bit of snow on the front of the face here, so I'm not going to put a whole bunch of dark because it's not really that dark. Yeah, I don't know how they've evolved to have such weirdly shaped heads. I'm interested in about a lot of animals. I don't know how they evolved. Like, how did zebras get those stripes and stuff? Like, what advantage does that have? I know in a group they have an advantage, but yeah, it's it's so it's so interesting how things evolved to have certain shapes and stuff. Yeah, it's funny how their horns are like very small and stuff, and but they're very powerful. Yeah, it's just it's very bizarre. All right, let's start shading some of this in. Thanks, Lisa. For the $9.99 donation, greatly appreciated. Super, super greatly appreciated. Hope, I, hope you're doing well. Really like seeing all your art on Instagram still. I think that's where I mostly see your posts and everything, so. Thanks for the donation. Gonna buy some more pins and stuff. I just bought some sketchbooks, so. 
it's all going to a good place. It's all going to a good place. Just keep, I'll keep on making stuff here. Just keep making stuff. They have big heads for intimidation. I think they have big everything for intimidation. <laughs> I think they're just big to be intimidated. But yeah, you're probably right. Um, Well, thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate it. I'm glad you figured out how to do that now. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Keeps me motivated, keeps me going, and it helps the helps my art and my streams and everything. So, thank you for the donation. Yeah, new art supplies are always the best. Yeah, for sure. Are bison's your favorite animal? They're one of my favorite animals. So before I get too far, we'll take a little quick break here, folks. So be sure to check out my website, shaperfineart.com. I got some other drawings and art on there you guys can check out. Um, drawings like the ones you see here I've done on previous live streams. Also paintings that I do, watercolors. You can check all that out. I also have support page on there. I have a PayPal link, Venmo, Threadless, Patreon, Bandcamp, music that I make, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to check that out on my website. Also, if you like the stream, you like what you're seeing, be sure to like the video, please, and uh, share with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And uh, subscribe to see more videos whenever I'm uploading, when I'm doing lives, you'll be notified in your subs on your subscriptions page you know that page you never go to anymore yeah that page it'll tell you when I'm live in your time zone so I think that's pretty cool when I schedule my streams ahead of time normally I do the streams uh, Monday through Friday at the same time but this week I'm only doing uh, because of increasing projects and stuff as I said earlier for any, just in case anyone missed that, they weren't here. I'm only doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. Uh, 5, 10 Pacific Standard Time is when I start. So more in the evening for most folks, probably. Or if you're in Asia, it'll be in the morning, it seems. And if you're in between here in Asia, then uh, it's probably night for you and you're going to miss it, unfortunately. Maybe one day I can do streams in the morning, but until then, this is the time I do them and that's what I'm stuck with doing. So I'm just adding some uh, value to the head here. We're kind of just cross hatching, making it kind of f trying to make it furry looking, you know, different kind of texture and stuff. Try not to think too hard about it, you know, I'm kind of just intuitively going about it and I think that's always the best way to do it is to just be intuitive with it go with your gut because usually it's hardly ever wrong but it can be especially with something like art maybe you don't like the way you did it or it could have been a different method you might have wanted to try or something but intuitive for me is the way to go so I'm trying to just get darkness on the head here overall, separate it from the body, which is going to remain the tone of the paper for the most part. We're going to add some value to it. And then snow on the ground, the white is really going to make this pop, I think. So... Thanks, Joshua. I appreciate that. He said, I like your vids. Thanks. Um, how do you decide what to draw? 
Um, I just, I just say, hey, I want to draw an animal, and then I draw an animal. There's not much thought. There's not that much thought into it. You know, I, I go with what I'm interested in. I'm interested in drawing animals, so that's what I do. Um, if I want to draw architecture or something, that's what I'll do. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, as far as what? As far as my art, as far as my business, or my life, or... Um, you know, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm making a living from this and I don't have a day job anymore. That's my main goal, uh, is to do this on my own, make a living. Um, I do have some plans. I have some things coming. Okay. Oh boy, let's keep going. I'm getting impatient with shading this thing, but I think I just have to keep going because there's no other choice, right? Where you want to be art and business-wise. Yeah, I think... Um, Take care, Enrique. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's late over there. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Um, as far as art and business-wise, yeah, I mean, I want to keep improving, improving my art. I want to keep... I'm just going to keep doing watercolors. Hopefully I'm traveling more. Um, documenting my travel videos and paint plein air adventures. That's kind of the main thing I would like to do. But also keep doing these live streams and uh, be able to just do stuff like this every day and make a living from it, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of my main goal, to be honest. Um, you know, get rid of this graphic design job that I have that can be annoying from time to time, but you know, it's better than a lot of other jobs I could have. I'm grateful that I have it right now, but I'd much rather be doing this every day, you know what I mean? I think everybody understands that. And my bosses understand that, so that's good. But they don't particularly care, but they understand it at least. <laughs> and this year has been big growth for me, you know? I've, 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 uh, it's been the best year I've had as far as art, business, as far as anything, you know, really figuring out what I want to do with my art, where I'm going with it, like everything is, is, has been much better this year than any of the past years, you know, I finally feel more confident about the things I create, and I think these live streams help, like I think like the more I'm, I do this, the more I draw every day and paint every day, I kind of figure out things, I'm learning more, um, you know, everything, everything's just a, it's just a process, you know, so it's taken me many years to get where I am, but I know it's going to take me many more to just, I got to just keep going and stuff like that. So I don't know. Brazil is fake. Is this one of those theories like Finland isn't real or whatever too? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no worries Joshua I'm going to get the 500k like in the next week even without your help but I appreciate it <laughs> I get like 200 something new subs every day so it's all good actually I don't even know the number I get anymore I haven't, haven't even checked it in a while but that's what I used to get every day or around I mean it fluctuates sometimes I get more sometimes I get less but I can't remember. Could be more now, I don't even know. I don't look at my analytics all too much. Glad to hear that, Tam Tam.
Derek says, thank you for pushing through. It is encouraging, inspiring for people like me. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm actually um, glad to hear that, actually. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, too. I kind of I always try to push through, you know, even when... Oh, sorry, folks. Even when uh, I feel like it's not going well or something, you know, I still try to show up to these live streams and do it. Oh, I don't know why my nose is itchy. <sighs> Allergies or something. I got dust in my apartment. <sighs> okay. We're getting there, we're getting there, folks. Slowly but surely. I knew this one would take a little while, so we're at just an hour in now. So this is what I've done in an hour. Looks pretty good, I think, for an hour. Not bad. Looks a little funny, but uh, you know we're we're working through it. I think the legs need some shading here, especially this one. It's a bit darker. There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Would you eat a two-inch person for a hundred million dollars? No, that's weird. <laughs> no, because then I'd be arrested for murder. How about that? Or cannibalism or something. I don't even need a hundred million dollars. I just need like, you know, I need like quarter of a million dollars. And then I'm set. I'm good. I can retire. The funny thing is, like, if all of my subscribers gave me one dollar, I would just, I'd be set. For life. I could just sit back, do these YouTube videos, and not have to do anything anymore. Uh, yeah, it's funny. It's funny how that works. <laughs> Although after taxes and everything, it'd probably be like a quarter of a million dollars by then. Anyway, so, yeah. It's starting to look more correct now. Yeah, you just, it takes patience, man. You just gotta, I'm just slowly, I'm kind of getting tunnel vision right now. I'm kind of just focusing on one small part at a time, just trying to go through the values and stuff. Um... It's it's gonna get there, especially when I put that white pin at the bottom. I think it, I think it'll really pop. How many Micron pins do you own? Uh, let's see. These are all brand new, haven't used them yet. Um, and I have all of these that I'm not using right now. And then these two are dead, so there you go. That's all the pins I have. I don't have a lot. I mean, t like two packs of them, you know. I guess it's a lot. Okay, if I if I got a hundred million dollars, yeah, I would I would share. Like, yeah, of course I would share. I don't need a hundred million dollars. I just need enough to survive, live a little comfortably. You know, I don't need like, I don't need a fast sports car, or a giant house, or anything like that. I just want to be happy. I want to travel, do some painting, make some videos. You know, experience new things, document my journey, just live humbly. And, uh, yeah, I don't need to be, like, you know, there's people that have a lot of money. I'll say it like this. There's people who have a lot, a lot of money, and they're not even, and they're not rich. You know what I mean? And there's people that are rich that don't have, barely have any money. 
That's how I think of it. You know, just because, you know, you have money, it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to make you rich. You know what I mean? I think being rich is, is something... You know, you could say, yeah, being rich is having a lot of money. Yeah, but to me, being rich is, is having... Being happy, having freedom, you know? Having freedom, being able to do what you want every day, live your life. Because there's so many people especially actors, actresses, all kinds of stuff. Hollywood is full of people that have so much money and their life's miserable. You know, it's like we would all like love to have that much money. But when you have that much money, we don't realize how terrible it is. And I think what we don't realize is and when you have that much money, the problem is Everyone around you, whether it's true or not, whether it's really true or not, but how you're going to see everybody is you're going to think they're just looking at you as an ATM machine. And how can you build any relationships with anybody if all they want you for is your money or all they care about is your money? They see you as an ATM machine. I mean, you're going to be very lonely, you know, so... Yeah, I think, you know, that fame and all that money, it's just not, it's not worth it. You know, I'd rather just have just enough money to be comfortable, live life, have freedom, and and not have to deal with all the fame and all the money and, and all those problems that all those people have, you know. Because that's a, that's a lonely, sad way to live. It's just my thoughts on it, though. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I've never been rich like that before, so. What do I know? But I just hear from other people what they've said, and. All right, I think we're getting close now the white pin get to the white pin folks uh, I think this needs to be darker overall probably because that really dark area is sticking out a little too much to me now that I look at it <clears throat> Okay, I feel like I shaded everything a little too much, but that's all right. I think the white pen will balance everything out. Will you paint it or color it afterwards? Um, no, not this one. I mean, maybe on a different day I'll do a watercolor of it or something like that. I still I need to do some more watercolor animals. I haven't really done those in a while. But today, no, I'm not going to do it today. This is just pen and ink today. So that's the that's the on the agenda for today. I like how you said sorry f sorry that you send duplicate messages and then it duplicated that message. <laughs> that was really funny. Sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. That was just that was very funny. <laughs> oh man. That was great. <clears throat> okay. Here's where we are, folks. Not bad, not great, not good, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I want 
to strengthen some of the line work here, possibly. I may add a little bit of white on the top, too. Just a little tiny touch. I might use the jelly roll up there because it's, it's a little less bright. But I'll definitely put some white on his nose and stuff, like a little snow. <clears throat> I might throw in some grass kind of peeking through the snow too, just because. But I think for the snow, I'm going to do horizontal lines. I don't really do that too often, but I think this is a... That's cool, Joshua. He says there are real bison near my house. That's cool. That's really awesome. And I might put like, hmm, and yeah, we need some sort of shadow. It looks like there's a shadow. Bit of a shadow underneath him. So I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind here. Like I said, I haven't done this too many times. I haven't done these horizontal lines. Don't know if I like it or not, but I'll keep going with it. We'll see what. One thing I one I could have used this for the snow, this bigger, thick white. But I don't know. I just wanted to try this to see what it would look like. Thanks, Derek, for the 199. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for the donation, man. Really appreciate that. I'm going to fix up a lot of the black lines again because so I can see I kind of went over into the bison and that always happens with these sketches and stuff. I have to just refine some of the line work. It's not a big deal. some dots just as some texture 
just creates a little something more there going on. I'm going to do the same thing with black. I mean, we'll put some grass and stuff, like I said. See if we can make this work. So we can give it like some snow dusting and snow snowy stuff on his fur. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll put it in there, just make it seem like he's a little more in his environment. And there's a little more I can do to make it look like he's in the environment rather than just, you know, we need a shadow underneath him that's going to help. So right now he's kind of like floating, you know, he's almost like floating a bit, so. Definitely want to change that. I'm from the US. Who are your idols? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any idols. Um, what was that big white pin? So this is the uh, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pin White 101. I've used it before in the past. Uh, maybe I'll use it in the future. Um, but I, I don't really like the look of it that much compared to this. I mean, in this scenario with the with the snow, it could have been helpful actually. I still could try to use it, but I don't know how well it would work now. I wonder if I should add some highlights up here. Just let's do let's do it with the jelly roll. I don't know if I have any ink in these left, but we'll tr try. <laughs> let's see. I think this one's done. Okay, this one works a little bit. So, I'll just put little, see this white pen isn't as bright. So we can do just kind of a, it's almost out of ink. I don't know if it's gonna work. I could just do it with the regular white pen. It just kind of has some rim lighting, like highlights along some of this. Yeah, this thing is just about out of ink. It's almost not even helpful, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, I can do the same thing with this horn. I can just add a little bit of white there. I just wanted the highlights to look separate than the snow, like different. So by using this jelly roll, it just is a little less bright. I could still use that other white pen, no doubt. Um, you know, I just have to be a little more careful about how I use it.
little bit of reflected light on his belly there. Same thing here. Yeah, I don't really like color pencils, to be honest. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of color pencils. Um, I think you can do amazing things with them, but personally for me, I just, I'm not a fan of color pencils. I think I've said that before on here, probably, but who knows? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of color pencils, unfortunately. Okay, well, um, let's not overdo it, I guess. We'll just probably already did, overdid this one anyway. Um, let's go back with the black pen now. I think I did a little too much light here, so we can kind of tone some of this down. I can add some other hairs. You know, we'll kind of reinstate some of the darks now. And this will kind of help the highlights kind of fit more in to the scene rather than just looking like they're sitting on top of everything you know it's good to have other things uh, you know on top of these highlights so that we get the that kind of depth you know Like I said, I can put, try to put a little bit of grass here and there, kind of sprouting through. I can play around with that idea. Can you put the reference up? Yeah, one second. So there's the reference. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, not bad, but uh, actually this leg kind of needs like forgot snow between the legs and a little bit of separation there. Yeah, it's difficult. Very difficult. Don't know why, but it is. This one has challenged me a bit. Yeah, that's a good observation. It says it looks like old fur when I added these highlights. Yeah, kind of like, like a light white fur or whatever. That's pretty funny. I didn't think about that. But yeah, you're kind of right, actually. Kind of looks like an old bison anyway, right? So it kind of works, I think. I'm going to say it works just because I want it to. <laughs> I want it to work. Possibly getting a little too dark there. Try to blend that out a little bit. It's okay. I'm possibly overworking this one already, but you know what? It's all right. They can't all be the best, you know? Some of them have to be better than others. It's just how it happens. It's just life. It's just life. Yeah, snow is really quite reflective, actually. That's what I'm seeing in this photo. There's a lot of, like, light coming up. Even though it's not very bright out, it's still very ref reflective, I'd 
let's say. Not super reflective, but... I think you're missing a shoulder or neck fold on the left front shoulder. Left front shoulder? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like right here? The left to us or the left to the animal? I mean, probably like right here. I did have one, but then I had to uh, put highlights over it. But maybe that helped. Uh, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to see that. You almost need just a little bit of highlight there. To bring that forward. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. But like I said, can't get it perfect. Just try. Overall, I think it looks like a bison, so when I look at this thing, it looks like a bison to me, so. Um, uh, what was I doing? Okay, I was originally adding some stuff on the ground, because I wanted ground to be, I don't know, a little more something there. There's all these little, I don't know how to draw that, but there's all these little footsteps and stuff. I think I just kind of give some texture on the ground for a shadow. I shouldn't have done white on the ground right there, but it's hard for this pen to draw over that white. Talk about ruining a pen really quickly. Yeah, that's not really working, unfortunately. Well, I think I need to draw more snow scenes because this is... I didn't really think about how to do the snow on the ground. It's becoming a bit challenging. Man, this pin is... Did I just destroy this pin already? Luckily I didn't. Just gotta be very light with it, very gentle. Kind of just make it look more natural down there. I mean, it's probably hard for you guys to see a lot of that stuff. But it makes a difference for me. guys think? I think we get rid of, let's try to get rid of some of the pencil line here. Let's see what it's working with overall. Not bad. For an hour and 30 minutes, I guess. Um, yeah, I think the shadow helped a bit. I would have done that differently. I think I should have done the shadow first and then the white over it. 
because I realize now this white pen, it's kind of a gel pen, so it's kind of thicker. It's hard to draw on top of. And I, I could have drawn the white right over that, some of that black to kind of tone down the shadow a bit so that it wasn't so dark. Um, it just would have gone on more smoothly. So I am learning about process, you know, it's important. So it's how you learn. We just get on here and see what we can do in an hour. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it partially works. Which pens am I using? Pigma Micron 05 <clears throat> pens. Um, is there anything it needs? Am I missing like a dark area that it needs? Maybe that's a little too dark now, but I'll try to blend that out a little bit. To the rest of the head here. Maybe the head is a bit darker, actually, at least in this top section. Like that. It's a bit better, I think. Well, I don't know, folks. I don't know. I tried. This horn is a little depressed looking. It's kind of low. Unfortunately. But, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, probably this needs to be darker, actually, right around this horn. Now that I'm looking at it, it's a bit darker. It's a bit darker. All around this thing. And all up here. I don't want to draw this thing forever, but let's just bring it home, you know? We'll just try to bring it home. There we go. I think that helped, actually. I think it helped bring everything out, bring it together a bit more. There is a small piece of the horn on the other side we could see. Try to add that. There. Um. Oh, that's a good observation, Mitchell. He says, love that your channel has both fluid and hard to control watercolors and its opposite medium, in my opinion, highly controllable drawings. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it. I mean, these are somewhat, I mean, this is definitely more controllable than watercolor and stuff, so I get what you're saying, but yeah, it's still, still challenging, but you're right, you're definitely right. And I think watercolor and pen and ink can actually go very well together as well, so it's kind of, they complement each other, I think. I think behind his head could be darker. Behind his head. Hmm, okay. I can see that the bottom right here could be a bit darker. So you mean like right here, behind? Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Let's try to put that. Let's see what that does. That gives a little more form, huh? That actually helps a little bit. Thanks for that, Nathan. Got a good eye. I wasn't really squinting on my reference photo, but now when I squint, I can kind of see, you know, there's a few little areas. That help give it a little more form. Yeah, like a buffalo nickel. Flip side of coins, eh? Like a buffalo nickel. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Wolfie, what's your question? Let me know. Maybe define the hip a little. Okay. Define the hip. 
find the hip below. Let's see. What am I missing here? There's like a little line here I'm kind of missing. But I'm, I don't want to put that in too much. Do you think maybe you could do appropriate live drawing? Yeah, I could I could try that. Um, I tried that in the past, it didn't really work out, but I could try it just using this camera and doing it like this instead of actually doing it like on the computer screen. You know, I don't know. We could see, we could, we could, we could see. Um, Tanisha, thank you for the uh, compliment, I appreciate it. Looking at this now, I wonder how you even started it. It's something I've always, I always have trouble with, how to start a piece, any tips? Well, I started this one off pretty roughly. It was very um, difficult, actually, uh, the way I started this one. It was kind of a challenge. I see this needs to be a bit darker now. Um, so yeah, I think to start it, you just start off with a pencil sketch and just go for it, you know, um, big shapes, you just block in big shapes. That's kind of what I did. Just started off with big shapes and went from there, you know, um, I think I, I shaded all this too dark overall. Um, but, oh well. Oh well, what are you going to do? Um, Derek says, it's pretty sweet, man. You know you're the hardest critic of self and haters, of course. Yeah, I mean, I try to be. I got to be. So that uh, it, a little more shadow behind the front shoulder. So you mean like right in this area? kind of just did that actually, but uh, let me see, yeah, I guess a little bit more here, just go the opposite way, so that, something like that I guess, you can blend it out a little bit more. There we go, I mean I think it's pretty good, we got kind of a weird shaped uh, shoulder here, but other than that, I think it's okay. Um, not bad. Not perfect, but you know, never is. Can't ever be perfect. It's just something we, I just work at and. The fur has to be the hardest to get right. Yeah, I mean, it kind of was. I, I, I'm not really used to doing furry things like this, you know, like it's, it's pretty challenging. I see one thing that's actually gonna help Right now, there's a bit of snow, piece of snow right here. And that can help define this fur a little bit more. Got a little more separation in the front. Front legs here. Yeah, I don't know if that helped, but tried to help. I think this could be built up just slightly more. Okay. More shadow to the upper back legs. No, man, I think, well, I get what you're saying. It's kind of needs a little bit more right here just to even it out. But after that, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this one, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so Wednesday, I'll be doing a watercolor. I forgot what it's going to be of, but... Oh, actually, it's a three-color challenge for uh, Wednesday. So it should be cool. Uh, the drawing looks great, says Essie with a smiley face. Thank you, Essie. I appreciate that. Uh, 
did my best here. But yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much done here, folks. Um, we have a three color challenge of a landscape of a watercolor on Wednesday. That should be cool. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I have a really cool color scheme I want to try out that I've been wanting to try for years, basically. I've never actually tried it. I always forget. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed this drawing. Like I said, be sure to check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. We got some drawings for sale. This one will be up for sale as well later today. Uh, if you like this buffalo, check out my other paintings on there as well. And I also have a support page where you can donate to me if you like the stream. You know, if you want to donate to me directly, it's a way to do that. Patreon, support me monthly, or Bandcamp. I have some music that I make on my own time. I also use the music on my YouTube channel on my Bandcamp, so you can check the, that out, check some music out, some instrumentals. And, um, so yeah, it's hard to believe that we started out here with a blank sheet of paper, you know what I mean? And then in an hour and a half, we got this buffalo buddy here. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool to think that, you know? So, I'll show you guys what this looks like holding it up. So there we go. Just a different angle, view angle. You know, it's, it's always good to see things further away because it just changes how you view things, how you see it. Um, I think it came out pretty well. You know, it's not, not perfect, but uh, it is what it is. So I'll see you guys Wednesday for a watercolor. Thanks, Nathan. I appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, um, looks like we don't have any final questions or everything, but yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'll see you on Wednesday. We have a good one. We have a good one coming on Wednesday, so uh, I'll see you there. Take care of yourself and uh, peace, my friends.